Jello. Well, hi. Welcome hi. to my classroom. <laughs> Do I put my glasses back on or leave them off? You can put them back on. Who are you? That is a great question. I don't always know who I am, but I do know I am Ms. Ziegler at Monahan's High School. What do you do? I teach theater, um, mostly, and then coach UIL academics, mostly speech and debate, but I coordinate all the others. What education did you get? I graduated, I'm just kidding, I graduated from this high school, actually. Monahan's High School is where I, I grew up here in Monahan's my entire life, went to all the schools here and then went to college at Soros State University in Alpine and finished in three years with a bachelor's in theater minor in communication. What inspired you to be a teacher? Ooh, uh, I guess my mom, I don't know, ever since I was little I wanted to be a teacher. Um, I always played school at home. My mom had old grade books and lesson plan books that and I would pretend to teach my sister and her friends. What's your favorite play to act out? Ooh, probably last year's show. I really love the importance of being earnest, but I also really liked being in A Company of Wayward Saints, where I played Columbina. Anything you just like about teaching theater? The fact that theater one, two, three, four are all combined together most of the time. It would be easier to teach theater one by itself and then have the uppers in a separate class. How do you structure the your theater class? Um, my class, it looks like chaos, but it's structured chaos. Um, the students have certain guidelines that they follow about, you know, doing their work and taking care of what needs to be done during class. Um, but they also have the freedom to move about and, and talk and communicate with each other. Um, we do notes at the beginning, especially in Theater One, to get them. Um, give them more knowledge of the subject and kind of how it works and things. And then we start working on different design projects. There's sometimes uh, scenes that I have the students prepare and do for us. Mine's probably more of a laid back atmosphere than like your traditional English or science class. Do you have a favorite playwright? Shakespeare and Oscar Wilde, but I like Shakespeare a lot. What do you like about Oscar Wilde? Um, that he wasn't afraid to step out of the boundaries and things of the society. Um, he was a unique man and uh, had a lot of personal things that society didn't always agree with. What do you like about Shakespeare? Shakespeare because it's awesome. Um, I know it's hard to understand a lot of times, but once you truly like read the script and you understand it, there's just so much to it. It's it's like modern day movies, basically. Everything comes from him. I mean, there's blood and gore, there's love, there's romance, there's comedy. The way he worded things and the way he put it all together just really created a great story. They're very long and they're mostly short nowadays, but I don't know, I've just always liked Shakespeare. What are some challenges that production teams and actors might face? Just that theater's not real popular anymore and so sometimes um, people don't truly understand it or get it, especially if like you're performing in front of your peers. Um, a lot of times they face um, backlash more or less I guess from from the other students um, the possibility of being made fun of if they're not confident enough to be okay in themselves and what they do. What is the importance of costume and makeup design? Um, costume and makeup design it goes along with all the other parts of the design process. Um, all the design processes come together so you've got a light design, you've got a sound design, um, the costumes and makeup um, Usually your technical directors and those um, departments come together to decide like what colors are going to be used because if you put, say, a person in a red costume and then you shine a red light on it, it's going to wash out the costume and if you want to see the red, you've got to decide a different color to to put on for the lights. Um, same thing with makeup. Makeup helps enhance and be able to see um, 
the audience be able to see you from a distance. So like the eyeliner and the mascara, um, make your eyes pop. It just it helps the audience to be able to see you better. What do you have planned for this year? I am still trying to figure that one out because there are so many plays to choose from and we have so many kids um, that I'm looking for a big cast. Um, I still like my comedy, but there may be, it may be a drama, several different shows to, to pick from. We're going to be reading a lot in our one-act play class. What will you be doing this year for fundraising? Ooh, okay, we're doing our normal brochures that we do that have like the sausage and the cheese, um, the cookies and other things. Then we have bake sales. We're gonna do bake sales. Um, and then our next one will be around uh, Halloween. We were gonna do it on Halloween, but school's out that day, so we're gonna move it to the next day, which will be Dia de los Muertos. Oh, I know what else. We're gonna have we're gonna bring kids in and we're gonna have like we did decide on one play for the fall. We'll do Alice um, Alice's Christmas in Wonderland. And so we're gonna offer um, a Saturday or a Sunday where the kids um, can come in and like have breakfast with all of the characters from Alice's Wonderland. What advice can you get to kids who want to start acting? Practice and don't be afraid to start low on the totem pole. Um, a lot of times acting is really hard to, to be able to be completely successful and famous. Um, it's only about 5% of the acting population or the theater population in general. They, they should be willing to do tech work as well as work their way into acting spots. Um, and things of that nature. Just hard work and growing a little bit of a thick skin because it's, it's a harsh world. If you don't look a certain way or um, talk a certain way, sometimes you aren't even considered for that. And theater kind of was always my life. In college, I would have to tell my friends I couldn't go wherever they were going because I always had rehearsal. And so theater's my life. Yeah, what did you oh. think about doing on earlier in your life? Like career-wise? Yes. I wanted to um, be an actress, like try to go and make it big, but like I said, it's kind of hard. And I didn't actually have the means or the funds to just take myself to New York or L.A. So one day, when I'm old, like 80 or so, I'm going to be that little old lady in the background that's acting crazy or have the small little old lady parts. Who knows, maybe we'll bring back the golden, golden girls. Can't talk. Oh. It was fun having you here. Goodbye. Thanks. <laughs> I was. I. I'm. It was exciting to be here and have this interview. I appreciate you wanting to take the time to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. How are you supposed to say goodbye? We it's shake like, hands. Please. We hug. I don't know. We're not huggers, so. I enjoyed having you on my show. Leave. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, for that one, it's the light switch. Oh, yeah, no, the light switch for these ones. Yeah. Oh. oh.